Okay, this video is going to be to introduce you to traditional board drafting. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes, uh, you know, it, it, it works good for what you need to do. Um, on a lot of my personal projects, I, sometimes I'll, I'll do a board draft to scale uh, before I go to, uh, you know, to AutoCAD with it. Uh, just kind of working out some ideas and so we're going to as part of this class you're going to get a little little practice in doing that uh, we have some of these little portable drafting boards uh, in the lab and i need to show you a few things about them on the top on the back side up here there's a handle you know for carrying it and on the top corners on the back are some legs that you can fold out to kind of elevate it up a little bit now the the bar right here, the parallel bar, slides up and down and on each end there's a knob on the top. That is not the brake that, that stops it from moving. That is the adjustment knob if, if it's not parallel. So those two should remain tight all the time. The ones on the end out here, that is the brake. If you tighten both of those down then the parallel bar won't move. Okay, so most of the time you're, you're going to have them loose so that the parallel bar can slide up and down. And I, I recommend you use two hands, you know, one on either one on either side as you slide it up. And as you go over your paper, you kind of want to lift the front edge up just a little bit as as you're going over the paper because uh, sometimes it'll get tape and eraser crumbs under it and it'll kind of smudge it out. Now, if, if you grab it with both hands and you, and you kind of twist a little bit, it should not move. If, if you push hard, it will move. But just gentle, it, it shouldn't move. It shouldn't rotate on, on the board. If it does, uh, see the lab assistant or, or myself, and we'll check the adjustment. Uh, the bar does not have to be parallel to the edge of the board. As long as your paper is parallel to the bar, you're good to go. Now here's how we're going to do it. If you're, if you're working with a blank piece of paper, you kind of want to curl it up at the edges and push it against the edge of the bar and then hold it down and tape your corners. That gets your paper parallel to the bar. But if you're working with, goodness, got an ugly spot in there, sticky. We're working with paper that already has a title bar and a border on it. So what you want to do is line up, you want to slide the, the paper under there just a little bit and get up over it and look down and line up one of the horizontal lines with the edge of the parallel bar. And then put a little piece of drafting tape in each corner. All right, and so now when you're when you're rolling your your bar up, when you hit the edge of the tape, it's going to want to kind of pull the tape. So that's why I say you want to lift up on the front edge of the bar as you're sliding up and over your paper. All right, so that's got your paper down, and and you can check it. You know, make sure you're you're square with the the index lines there, and then the triangles we use. This one is a 30, 60, 90. And this one's what's called a 45-45, okay? It's got 45 degrees at two corners. This has a, a 30 degree and a 60 degree angle. Most things that we draw are at those angles or a combination of the two to get a 15 and a 75. Um, and when you put the triangle against the parallel bar, now you're perpendicular or you're at whichever angle that you're drawing, okay? So we'll always hold that against there with one hand and then, you know, draw with the other. Okay, so this um, object that we're drawing here to start with, I'm going to kind of walk you through it. This may be a longer video, but I'm going to walk you through pretty much how to, how to draw with the board. And we are not going to put dimensions on our drawings, uh, on our hand drawings here. Uh, we are going to draw with, you know, line types, hidden lines, center lines, 
uh, those kinds of things. Uh, this one is a metric drawing, so you need to use a metric metric rule, and I'll be using a, a, a steel rule that has inches and metric on the other side. Some of the other drawings that we're going to be doing um, are engineer drawings, like number two is, and if you have an engineer scale or a decimal scale, uh, you can bring it and use that, or I've got them in the lab that you can use. Okay, or you can flip back over here a few pages in chapter three to the uh, conversion chart right here, and you can see what decimal of an inch is a fraction of an inch. Okay, because you know most things we use are standard sizes. So you know a point one eight seven five is three sixteenths. So if you don't have an engineer scale, you can use a fractional rule. Uh, to draw these things with, you just got to use a conversion chart. All right, so we're going to start out drawing this, and the the process is to use a lighter, thinner pencil to start with, and, and we draw construction lines with those, and then we darken after we've got our construction lines in. Uh, very similar to AutoCAD. Um, yeah, that's my dusting brush to keep uh, keep my eraser crumbs off. Um, very similar to AutoCAD in that we'll use construction lines to lay things out, very light, uh, they're easy to erase. And then we do our visible lines in a thicker, darker uh, color. So this uh, sheet that you've got, it's already got the extents that you're going to draw, the limits, and the corners for each of your views, and the 45 degree projection line. And so usually, not always, but usually we start with the front view. And so I'll uh, kind of zoom down a little more, pull my camera up. I may have to zoom back out a little bit, let's see. Okay. And so I know, uh, okay, this thing is 63 millimeters wide, uh, but because I know it's going to go all the way across, I'm just going to go ahead and draw my first construction line all the way across. And then my one going up, And you notice it, it, it works out easier if you put your pencil on your mark first and then slide your triangle or your parallel bar to the pencil. And you want to, if you're using a mechanical pencil, you kind of want to hold it straight up. And I'll go ahead and draw that one all the way up too because I know I'm going to go up here and up here. And so now these I can measure from these. So uh, my book tells me this is 63 millimeters wide. So I lay my ruler down. Get the zero mark uh, on the line. Try, try to get my ruler, you know, kind of parallel across there. Zero mark, come over 63, and I put a little pencil mark. And then I can draw all the way up, because I know it's going to go all the way up. Okay, so that's how wide it is. Uh, it is a, a total of 47.6 tall. Ooh, that's going to be kind of hard to see with my, my need for glasses. I'm going to flip that over. No, it's going to work better this way. Okay, so i got to roll around the side of my table. There we go. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. So that's got my outline of, of, you know, the whole thing there in front. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put in the lines, these two lines right here. And I see that it's 19 up and then nine and a half down. So I can go ahead and measure those. 19 up, nine and a half down. 